So I'm using chicken for my summer rolls, but know that you don't have to use chicken. It could be vegetarian, you can use tofu, uh, or you can put egg, uh, shrimp. I will do a bit but I'm gonna go ahead and make the dipping sauce. Add about two garlics. And half a cup of water. A quarter of a cup of hoisin sauce. And then also about two or three. Uh, big spoons of peanut butter. Uh, I got this recipe from Maxie's Kitchen. I love her recipes. So she uses three tablespoons of peanut butter, but um, I just like to put two. That's gonna be my dipping sauce. She knows she's got chicken in there. Don't she, my little chubby? So I can't believe she's 14 and a half now, guys, but she's doing really well. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the chicken now into like little strips. So I have my rice paper. I have some of the chicken that I've shredded up. I've got my veggies like carrots, avocado, and cucumber. Just like I said before, you can choose your own veggies, you can choose your own filling. It doesn't have to be chicken, it could be prawn, it could be uh, tofu, it could be egg. I've got my warm water here. And you know what, honestly, when it comes to making summer rolls, it really kind of is like therapy to me. If there's music on, I like to turn it off because I just want to be so immersed in this process, just really soaking up being in the present. So I'm just softening up my rice paper, depending on the brand, some takes longer than others, but it's just nice. The water is warm. So I'm just gonna grab my rice paper, as you can see, just laying it on my plate. And now I just wanna put you know, a couple pieces of chicken. I add a little piece of avocado, a little bit of carrot, a little bit of cucumber. I forgot to make my vermicelli, guys. <laughs> Hang on. Yep, I've got my vermicelli here. Just going to add my boiling water and let it cook until it's soft. So I'm going to drain it. Okay, so yeah, just to give the vermicelli some flavor. I just add a oh, flip. <laughs> little bit of sesame oil and just a tiny bit of chicken part. You can add like a little bit of sweet soy sauce if you want, but I'm happy enough. All right. So especially because it's just me, it's okay that I'm using my bare hands. Wrap the little sides first. And then kind of like a spring roll. This is how I do it. And then I just wrap it like a little parcel. And we have our little summer roll. You know, I just feel the texture and the warmth of the of the vermicelli. And I start again. Now we have two and I'm gonna keep going until I make a little batch of them. And then I clean up. Summer rolls, I've got my dip. Um, I'm ready to eat, but first, there you go. And for you too, my prince. But I obviously, I'm not gonna finish this. I'm gonna have enough for dinner and for lunch tomorrow. So I'm um, just gonna grab. Like the sauce is just so nice. And take your time, like just chewing. There's no hurry to get it done. Just focusing on the textures and the, the flavors. <laughs> I'm really annoying today. <laughs> bon appetit. You know what? I thought I will give you guys a little update on Chucky and Damo. I'm gonna start with Damo just because Damo's always near. So yeah, my little fur babies have grown. Well, not much in size, but. You know, they've gotten older, but 
Damo is now 13 and a half. He's very happy. Um, we just got back from a walk and he's just content as long as he's next to me. So as a little old man goes, he's doing really well. He does have to get a Librella injection um, monthly to help with his wee joints because he's got little chicken legs. If you think about it, he's got really long gangly legs. You know, it doesn't stop him. He can go for miles and miles and he's just my wee baby. dog. If you guys remember when he was a puppy, he was fine mingling with other dogs. But now he, I don't know if it's because he's a guy <laughs> or he's just getting older. He's just more grumpier, not towards me, but towards other dogs. I think it's just more of a, like a small dog syndrome thing where he just gets scared. So like he'll bark at them. He is just a wee sweetheart. Um, half of his teeth is gone, but it doesn't stop him. He, he loves blueberries. Um, he likes strawberries. He loves watermelon, he loves me, um, he loves, loves, loves Archie. Isn't such a fan of the kids these days, but yeah, I think he's just lost patience for the kids, so he doesn't really care for them, but you know, the kids don't take it personal, which is fine too, but the kids do love Domo, despite the fact that he's not their biggest fan. I mean, like health-wise, Domo does have something called an enlarged heart, which means his heart is too big. He literally has a heart that's too big and um, sometimes it puts pressure um, against the lungs so he has a bit of problem like breathing sometimes just like coughing um same like because he's a little dog um his trachea is also collapsing comes of it you know with age and stuff but aside from that he's doing really well and i'm really proud of him let's see if i can summon chubby Everybody. Again, she's doing really well for a little elderly dog. Her teeth are good. She just likes to have like her own space these days. Some of you guys know this already again, that Chubby does have a, a heart murmur, a grade three heart murmur. We recently had like a little checkup and yeah, the murmur hasn't progressed. She's same as Damo in terms of having a collapse, a collapsing trachea. So she's always been a bolt. She'll bolt up the stairs. Like she's just like a bullet. No one can ever tell. Like she's 14 and a half. But I really noticed this year she slowed down quite a bit. And even still, that's okay. But I noticed um, she kind of likes to be on her own a lot more. Um, maybe like noise just gets to her. Her she likes being in shaded um, corners. Um, she's got a lot of fur, so probably why she likes to lay, you know, in the bathroom floors and the tiles. See, even now you can see she's happy enough, but she just likes to have her own space. Um, chubby. Um, she does have a lot of allergies, so we just have to keep on top. Um, when it comes to her skin. But yeah, that's the little doggies update. So you guys saw some of these magazines on the floor earlier. Um, uh, so these are actually catalogs. Um, RG and I started looking at like honeymoon destinations. Th this is the Caribbean and Mexico. And then we've got Asia. We have weddings, honeymoons and romantic breaks. I still have a few more to come. Um, but yeah, we started thinking about um, the honeymoon and like possible places to go and truly it's quite hard to book and commit now just because like the, the dogs are healthy enough. I'm happy with how the dogs are for their age, but I just don't know how, how they'll be, you know, like a year later. But we're just looking still. And one thing that's tricky is that we both want to go somewhere that we've both never been before, which is quite difficult. Um, I have been to a lot of countries with my ex-husband. That makes sense. And no, it doesn't. Like it shouldn't matter, but it'll be nice to go somewhere we haven't been before. So we're looking into maybe um, visiting like a cruise um, around Italy and Greece. That might be really nice. You know, I feel like there's a lot of Thailand also I've never really explored. My sister loves Thailand. She goes back repeatedly. So there must be so much more for me to explore. And I was like telling him pros and cons of this country. There, there, look at this. And he literally just gave me back one sentence and it was, as long as you're in a bikini, I'm happy. But yeah, it's all very, very exciting. And counting down, there's 
13 months until a wedding. This evening I actually have dinner with my big sister and my cousin. So a nice family evening. Um, but before I do that, I'm just processing some of your orders. So thank you so much for supporting my recent art print, guys. Do you remember a while back I cut my hair, guys? This is just a little public service announcement to say don't do it because can you see this little wispy bit here? It just wants to go this way. Um, so yeah, what happened was at the start, it really was fine, but I thought maybe it looked a little choppy. And so I went back with thinning scissors. This side is actually fine. I don't mind this side at all, um, but this one just leave it to the pros, guys. <laughs> don't, do, don't do it yourself. So since I'm not actually home till a bit later tonight, Archie is most likely to get home before me. So I picked up a little subway for him so he doesn't have to worry about heating anything up. And sometimes just for fun, I like to scare him. Perfect embodiment of what he thinks of me. Sweet, but also crazy. 